False flag operations distract and unify people against an invisible enemy in order for the government to push through their hidden agenda. Globalization, control of oil, suspension of civil liberties so they can have more control over you. Fear is their game. Don't be afraid anymore. It's time for liberals, conservatives, independents to join together as Americans and make your voice heard. They want you to be split down the middle. They want you not to agree on issues. They want you distracted. It's time to join together as one. Leading up to the Iraq war, the administration spent months scaring the American public into believing that Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction. We cannot wait for the final proof, the smoking gun that could come in the form of a mushroom cloud. Fear, scaring you, the citizen, constantly linking 9-11 and Iraq. September 11th. 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 It's been pretty well confirmed that he did go to Prague and he did meet with um, a senior official of the Iraqi intelligence service in Czechoslovakia last day. And now, Iran. In the past year, we've seen an escalated attempt by the administration to scare the American public into thinking Iran is a threat to our security. Look out for another false flag operation to distract the public, to convince the public we should go fight Iran. And if such event occurs, Look to see if other mock drills were taking place during the same time. During the 9-11 attacks and the London bombings, similar exercises were going on the day of the attacks. Ask questions, demand answers, and ask yourself, who benefits? There is no interest in creating a stable environment in Iraq. The Pentagon has lost track of guns and ammunition. Where have they gone? Whose hands are they falling into? They want disorder and chaos as a distraction. Look for this conflict to go on for years. Look for us to keep bases in Iraq under the pretext of security and national interest. And ask yourself, who benefits? Organize that. So what happened in 2005 was ExxonMobil achieved a profit, record profit of $35 billion. Now, it almost seems like way too much money to even know what the hell it means. But we had an economist make an estimate for us that $7 billion of that $35 billion was simply because of the market conditions created by this war. Under the pretext of security and fear of being attacked, look for the government to suspend your freedom of speech, your right to assemble, protection from illegal searches and seizures. Look for the government to ask you, law-abiding citizens, to turn in your guns, your right to bear arms, Look for them to establish martial law and have the army police the citizens. This is illegal. Law ever become a reality in America? Some fear any nuclear, biological, or chemical attack on U.S. territory might trigger just that. And as KSLA News 12 Jeff Farrell discovered, the clergy would help the government with potentially their biggest problem, us. Remember, ask yourself, who benefits? their biggest problem, us. If you follow the markets, and you should, you will find increasing talk of housing foreclosures and banks calling in loans. Simply put, people who couldn't afford a loan, receiving too much credit, are now being asked to pay their debt, pressuring homeowners to foreclose, and the same people who built the houses buy back the houses for pennies on the dollar. When all is said and done, a small elite regain control of the property and start the cycle over again. 
This leads to a weaker dollar, the realization of a North American Union, and an overall global economy. Always ask yourself who benefits. The truth is, I hope I'm wrong. I look for the good in people. But now you know the warning signs, and the direction we're headed does not benefit us. Ask questions, demand answers. Thanks,